Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Yesterday, we talked about the possibility of severe weather in Iowa, parts of northern Illinois, and southern Wisconsin. You can see what looks like a large avocado on this map from the National Weather Service. And that severe weather did verify there were 41 reports of tornadoes in Iowa yesterday afternoon and evening. That doesn't necessarily mean there were 41 different tornadoes. Some of these could be the, the same tornado reported by multiple people. And then again, there could have been more than this. This is just what was reported and visually seen. There could have been tornadoes out in rural areas that went unreported. You can see large scale wind damage across multiple states. In fact, there's still power outages up in Michigan right now as I do this video from the severe weather. The stage is being set once again today for the possibility of more severe weather covering even more states. Wide area extending from Texas all the way up into southern New York. There are severe weather warnings out once again from the National Weather Service. And you can see, looking at this map, the avocado from yesterday looks a little bit bigger today, covering a wide area expanding well over a thousand miles. The area in the center is the area of greatest concern with regard to tornadoes. Like yesterday if this verifies there could be tornadoes in the Springfield Missouri area that would be down here in the the boot heel of Missouri parts of in fact most of northern Arkansas the yellow area is a slight chance of tornadoes extending all the way from Indianapolis down to Wichita Falls and Fort Sill Norman just on the edge of Oklahoma City and just north of Dallas large area of possible severe weather once again setting up for today so if you're in those areas have a plan be prepared to go to an interior room with no glass a basement would be ideal if you have one just be ready to use it because this afternoon and this evening weather conditions could be favorable for the formation of tornadoes, large hail, and high winds. I do have some photos sent in by Carla, who's from Iowa, Norwalk, Iowa. This is what the skyline looked like as the storm system was rolling through. You can see what looks like the beginning of a possible tornado. The area that they live in, this is their home, did take on wind damage. You can see the, the roof and the overhang was damaged, and some trees were broken off there in the background. You can see a, a tree branch on the roof of the house, widespread damage in the Norwalk, Iowa. Iowa area. Once again, those photos were sent in by Carla and there was widespread damage. Supposedly what I read extending over 160 miles through central Iowa. And here's the map once again over at hailreports.com. And as I indicated earlier, there's 41 tornadoes on this map. There could be more and there could be less. But today, be ready for the, the same type of weather setup extending from Texas all the way up to New York and expect power outages if those winds get strong like they did yesterday. And again, expect tornadoes and have a plan. Be ready to move to an interior room with no glass this afternoon noon and early this evening. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.